time for our Seder. Let's make sure we all have everything that we need. So first you'll need a Kiddush cup. That can be a fancy cup like mine or really any kind of cup. Put some grape juice in there. We'll need that. Then a bowl with some salt water. So just put water in your bowl and then a little bit of salt. If you have a Seder plate, you can get that. If you don't have a Seder plate, you can use the paper one. That works too. Any kind. Um, and then on your Seder plate, you can put all your different items. We've got a hard boiled egg or a roasted egg. I have parsley from my car pasta, but you could use cucumber, celery, really any green vegetable. It's a sign of spring. So whatever you have works. This is my maror. I have a horseradish root. Grew in the ground, big one like that. But you can use anything that's bitter. Um, or if you don't have something bitter, that's okay too. Then I have my haroset. I can't pick that up, but that's my sweet fruit that I chopped up. I used apples in mine, but you can use whatever you like. Then a shank bone. I didn't have a bone, so I used a roasted beef. That's a common substitute. You can also just cut a bone from paper or use a chicken bone or whatever you have at home. My Seder plate has a spot there for bitter herbs, a second bitter herbs besides the horseradish. Sometimes people use a piece of romaine lettuce or something else that's bitter, a bitter vegetable. I didn't have that, so I left mine blank. Then you'll need some matzah. I have a plate here with my matzah. If you don't have real matzah, you could use a piece of paper. I printed mine out and cut out my matzah. You could also use um, some matzah that you make yourself. So it's pretty easy to make. Whatever you have works. And let's see, I've got my candles. If you have regular Shabbat candles, you can use those or, or any kind of candles. Um, and then you wanna cover up your matzah. So you could use a paper towel or a napkin. I made this, I painted this cover, so I'm gonna use that. And then you're ready to go. We're ready for our Seder. Now it's time to light our holiday candles. Bring the light in. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Kitshanu Bemitzvotav Vitzivanu Lahadlikner Shel Yom Tov. The first cup of wine. We fill a cup with wine or grape juice as a symbol of our joy, and we'll sing two blessings. First, the Kiddush. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen And then the Shehechianu that says thank you to God for bringing us to this day. Baruch atah Drink the wine. L'chaim. We dip the parsley into the salt water and we say the blessing together. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri ha'adama. And now it's time for the Yafi Komen. Take, take a piece of matzah. Break it in half, wrap one half in a cloth, plastic wrap, envelope. You can also hide one for each child in your family if you prefer, but grown-ups, 
Go and hide the afikomen. We're going to need it later. I think the four questions can be fun for everyone to sing because there are so many parts that repeat. And so I wanted to point out one part that repeats itself so many times so that you'll be ready to sing along when it comes. So um, repeat after me. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze. Try that. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze. That means on this night. So um, you'll hear that part, ha lai la haze, in this context with different words each time. Listen and then repeat. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, lai 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 lai. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, lai 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 lai. That comes in over and over. It's just that the lai lai parts have different words. So every time we get to a part that um, has a repetition, I will put my hands out like this, and then you'll know you can sing what I just sang. And here we'll start from the beginning. Manishtana ha lai la haze mi kol ha leilot mi kol ha leilot First question Shebehol ha leilot Anu ochlin chameitz u matzah Sing those two words Chameitz u matzah Ha lai la haze ha lai la haze kulo matza ha lai la haze ha lai la haze kulo matza second question shebehol halelot anu ochlin she ar yirakot last two words she ar yirakot Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, ma roar, ma roar. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, ma roar, ma roar. Third question. Shebehol halelot, ein anu matbilin, afilu pa'amechat, afilu pa'amechat. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, shete fe amim. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, shete fe amim. Shebehol halelot, anu ochlin, ben yoshvinu, ben misubim. That's a hard one. Ben yoshvinu, ben misubim. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, kula nu mesubin. Ha lai la haze, ha lai la haze, kula nu mesubin. Now let's answer the four questions by telling the story of Passover. The Passover story in ten scenes. One. Long ago in Egypt, a mean ruler named Pharaoh makes the Jewish people slaves. They are forced to do hard work, building cities and pyramids. 2. Pharaoh orders all baby boys born to Jewish families to be taken away. But Moses' family floats baby Moses in a basket on the river. Moses' sister Miriam watches over him when Pharaoh's daughter finds the baby and brings him to the palace to be raised. 3. The Jewish people don't like being slaves at all. They are hungry, tired, and have no control over their lives. They cry out to God for help. 4. Moses, all grown up, goes out from the palace and sees an Egyptian treating a Jewish slave badly. He stops the Egyptian. Now Moses feels that he too is Jewish and runs away from Egypt. Five, Moses is herding sheep when he notices a strange bush. It's on fire, but not burning down. Amazing. He hears God's voice telling him to go to Pharaoh and demand that the Jewish people, Moses' people, be set free. 6. With his brother Aaron, Moses goes to Pharaoh and says, Let my people go. Pharaoh answers, Never. 7. 
God brings terrible plagues on the Egyptians. Water turns to blood. Frogs, wild animals, and locusts are everywhere. People and animals get sick. Hailstones fall from the sky. Everything turns dark. After each plague, Pharaoh agrees to let the Jews go free. But then he changes his mind. Finally, after the tenth plague, Pharaoh frees the Jews. Eight. The time has come. With great excitement and nervousness, the Jews pack their things and rush out of Egypt. They go so fast that the bread they are baking in celebration doesn't have time to rise. Nine. The Jews think they're safe, but when they reach the big sea, they hear Pharaoh's army chasing after them. Pharaoh has changed his mind again. The Jews are trapped, but then a miracle happens. The sea opens up so the Jewish people can march across between two giant walls of water. 10. The sea closes up. The Jewish people are free. They sing and dance and celebrate. At Passover every year, we remember the miracle of freedom. Emily, will you tell us the story again through song? Let's sing along. Where is baby Moses? Moses, Moses. Where is baby Moses? He's on the river Nile. He's floating in a basket, a basket, a basket. He's floating in a basket on the river Nile. The princess, she was swimming, swimming, swimming. The princess, she was swimming in the river Nile. The princess, she did save him, save him, save him. The princess, she did save him from the river Nile. We'll do it once with the guitar, too. Where is baby Moses? For this song, you're going to need two imaginary tools. You're going to need a hammer and a shovel. And the reason you'll need those two tools is that when the slaves, when the Jews were slaves in Egypt working for Pharaoh, those were two of the tools that they used, a hammer and a shovel. And you'll hear me sing bang, 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 and that's when you'll use your hammer. And then you'll hear me sing dig, 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 and that's when you'll use your shovel. <laughs> Bang, 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 hold your hammer low. Bang, 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 give a heavy blow. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's dark and when it's light. Now you're going to need your shovel. Dig, 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 get your shovel.
song, we get to play two different parts. First, we get to play the part of Moses telling Pharaoh to let my people go. And then we get to play the part of Pharaoh saying no. Oh, listen, oh, listen, oh, listen, King Pharaoh. Oh, listen, oh, listen, please let my people go. They want to go away. They work too hard all day. King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, 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 I will not let them go. No, no, no. I will not let them go. Oh, listen, oh, listen, oh, listen, King Pharaoh. Oh, listen, oh, listen, please let my people go. They want to go away. They work too hard all day. King Pharaoh, King Pharaoh, what do you say? No, 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 I will not let them go. No, 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 I will not let them go. One of the plagues that God sent down to Pharaoh and the Egyptians was frogs. And this is a song about all the frogs that were bothering Pharaoh one morning when he woke up. So every time you hear the word frogs, if you want, you could jump like a frog or hop like a frog or you could say ribbit or do both. One morning when Pharaoh awoke in his bed, there were frogs on his bed and frogs on his head, frogs on his nose and frogs on his toes. Frogs here, frogs there, frogs were jumping Passover, we are very, very grateful that we are now free. We are not slaves anymore. And at the same time, we're sad because not everyone got to be free. Not everyone was saved. So we remember that even when we have a cup full of sweetness, not everyone does. So when we read the 10 plagues, we're gonna spill a little bit of our grape juice, a little bit of our sweetness for each plague. So I'm gonna read them in Hebrew. You say them after me, and then spill a little bit of your juice. Here's the way I spill my juice. I use my pinky finger. I'm gonna dip it very carefully in till I have a drop on my finger. Then I have this napkin here, but you can also use a plate. And I just dab it on my napkin. Here we go. I'm gonna say the plague, then you repeat it, and then we'll dip. Dom. Sephardea. Kinim. Arov. Dever. Shaheen Barad Arbe Hoshech Makat Behorot 
and that's 10. So you have 10 dots on your napkin or on your plate. Those are the 10 plagues. Daye knew it would have been enough for us. God, if you only let us out of Egypt, Daye knew it would have been enough for us. God, if you only gave us the Torah, Daye knew it would have been enough for us. God, if you only gave us Shabbat, that would have been enough for us too. This first verse is about leading us out of Egypt. The word for Egypt is Mitzrayim. See if you can hear the word Mitzrayim in this verse. Make sure you have some wine or grape juice in your cup and then raise it up for the blessing over the second cup of wine. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen L'chaim We'll say the two blessings over the matzah. First, the motzi, which we say every time we eat throughout the year, and then the special blessing for the matzah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min HaAretz And now the blessing over the matzah, which ends Al Achilat Matzah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al achilat matzah. Mm. Now it's time to say the blessing for our maror. I have this horseradish. It grew in the ground just like this. You can see it still looks like it came from the ground. I didn't peel it. You might have another kind. Sometimes you can buy it in a jar. Well, I cut some pieces off my big root and we're gonna do the blessing together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvotav Vitzivanu Al Achilat Maror. Then I'm gonna taste it. Oh, that's spicy. The, the maror reminds us of the time when we were slaves in Egypt. Woo! There are a few other symbols on our Seder plate that we haven't looked at yet. Let's take a look. First, we have the egg. The egg reminds us of spring. There's all kinds of animals being born and plants growing. The egg reminds us of spring. There's also the beet. You might have a bone. I use a beet. 
This reminds us of the very first time that Passover was celebrated a long, long time ago. Back then, people roasted a lamb and they ate it with their matzah. The beet is red. It reminds us of the blood of the lamb. And there's something else, my favorite, the haroset. The haroset looks a lot like the bricks that the slaves made. They made it out of mud and mortar. And the haroset looks just like that. So to eat it, we can take a piece of matzah and make a little sandwich. I like to put just haroset on my sandwich, but some people like to put a little bit of the maror too. So if you like spicy, you can add some maror to your sandwich and then take a bite. Mmm, delicious. If you're having this Seder at dinner time, now's the time to stop the video and have dinner. Come back when you're done and we'll finish up. Okay, kids, it's time. Go and find the afikomen. See if you can find it and bring it right back. Did you find it? The afikomen? Open it up. The afikomen is our dessert. So break it up and give one piece to each person at your table. Take a bite. Thanks for finding the afikomen. Make sure you have some wine or grape juice in your cup and then lift it up as we sing the blessing over the third cup of wine. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen L'chaim. I have another cup here on the table. You can get one if you want. I put a little grape juice in it. This extra cup is for Elijah. There's a story about Elijah. He was a great teacher and he lived many, many years ago. And the story is that every year he comes to everyone's house for the Seder because he wants to wish everyone peace and freedom. Those are important themes of the Seder. So we're gonna go open the door and we're gonna invite him to come in. You can't see him, he's invisible. All right, let's go open the door. Come on in, Elijah. I opened my door, I hope you did too. Now let's watch his cup, let's see if he drinks any. And now let's sing. Now that we've opened our doors for Elijah, we're going to sing this song, Eliyahu Hanavi, to make him feel welcome. And Eliyahu is the way we say Elijah in Hebrew. So when we sing Eliyahu Hanavi, we're saying Elijah the prophet. Let's practice being Moses and telling Pharaoh to let my people go. Let my people go. You try. 
Good. All right. Now we'll sing it. Let my people go. You sing it. Good. Here we go. When Israel was in Egypt land, here we go. Let my people go. Oppressed so hard they could not stand. Let my people go. Go down Moses' way down in Egypt land. Tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. When Israel was in Egypt land, let Make sure you have some wine or grape juice in your cup and then lift it up as we sing the blessing over the fourth and final uh, cup of wine. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen L'chaim. And that's the end of our Seder. Thanks everyone for coming. Happy Passover!